Hey folks, Pipic Panda and BuzzBomber64 here for a new episode of Co-op Reviews. The goal of our reviews is to narrow down aspects of a game we've played so we can share our opinions to determine if it's something you should pick up for you and your friends, if it's something you should avoid, or perhaps if you should go it alone. In today's episode, we're talking about Visera Cleanup Detail. Visera Cleanup Detail is an indie title in which you and up to three friends take the reins of a janitorial job, cleaning up after what can only be assumed is the aftermath of a terrible space accident or heroic adventure. You are armed with nothing but rubber gloves and a mop at first, and must traverse the small area you are given to return it to its former pre-alien attack glory. This takes the form of cleaning up blood, goo, trash, and of course a variety of disembodied limbs. Once you believe you've done a satisfactory job, you clock out and see how the company feels you have done, and are scored as such. Visera offers cooperative play for up to four players in two different ways. The first is online, working from a local host and invite system. The game simply uses Steam's friend list and invite system, so pairing up to get dirty is quick and easy. Secondly, it offers split-screen local multiplayer if instead you wish to experience a hard day's work with your friends around you. Visera cleanup detail is the benefit that its gameplay is both the same single-player as it is in co-op. You do all the same tasks and are expected to carry out each mission the same way, regardless of one or four players involved. However, in single player, the isolation factor kicks in. There's no one around, no NPCs to talk to or AI partner. As such, we find the single player is played more methodically and can be a very good game for those that love that sort of get a task, do a task style of game. In co-op, there's a bit more levity to the situation, and that mostly comes from the game's engine, which causes a lot of things to go wrong, which can be very funny or extremely frustrating. You definitely get the job done faster as more hands cover more ground, but if too many people are sharing the same task in the same area, the fumbling of buckets and viscera may cause you to work slower. There is certainly a level of strategy involved when playing cooperatively that wasn't really expected at first glance. The short answer to, is the co-op worth a replay, is yes. Viscera offers a variety of alternative maps and scenarios on which to embark. If you enjoyed a first playthrough, these other maps can keep the entertainment up for a fair bit of time. Adding new players can be a very welcome source of levity as the moodiness of the game's engine can lead to new players being involved in a variety of hilarious situations. And there is something to be said for completing a task with your friends. We imagine that Visera Cleanup Detail won't be a go-to app for a lot of people, but if you want good, clean co-op fun, you'll definitely get a few hours out of Visera. As we mentioned before, the game can be experienced entirely in co-op. Every mission and task you can do with your friends or alone, so you're paying for a co-op experience up front. Right now, Visera Cleanup Detail can be found on Steam for $13.99 Canadian, and even offers a 4-pack option for just under 40 bucks, which gets you a discounted cost on the title if you have 4 folks to play with. That's a 4th copy free, if you do the math. As a fun little goof around game to play with your friends, it's certainly worth the cost, even if you're only going to use it for a couple of hours. Viscera is buggy. There's no real way around that. The physics in the game, while often very funny, regularly glitch out in terms of clipping issues, physics, and weight. Moving anything in the game more than a few feet is liable to knock over everything between you and your target if something doesn't go flying first. While this may sound like we're very disappointed, this is arguably intentional. Viscera is a joke game, much in the vein of titles such as Octodad and Surgeon Simulator. It's made by a small team with a very basic goal in mind, and if you're buying this game, this is a concept you should be comfortable with. Graphically, the game is alright. The lighting is quite good and suits the feel of the game, being very bright and open, or very dark and foreboding. Since the game focuses on environments as its main concept, the texturing and object design are very nice. Nothing ever seems out of place, and it definitely sells the story of what may have gone on before you got there. While we would like to see some physics improvements, just quality of life, overall, Viscera sets out to be hilarious and creepy, and it succeeds at this. It's very easy to join up with friends, and runs nicely on most modern PCs and consoles. The game is in no way complex. The entire concept is to clean a room. That's not to say it's boring, but it does mean that just about anyone can pick this up and enjoy it with anyone else. The controls are simplistic first-person shooter controls, and overall are very easy to figure out. 
Due to the nature of the game, while with its gory atmosphere, there is a little bit of parental guidance advisory attached. But we don't necessarily feel it's anything too horrifying or damaging. It's certainly a game most suitable for teens and older. The blood and gore are mainly played for comic effect, so younger audiences may enjoy it at their parents' discretion. Here at Coopton, we don't like to stamp things with out of tens or an arbitrary amount of stars. Instead, we rate games based on our focus, so we're gonna tell you if you should co opt in, co opt out, mm. go it alone. Viscera was a lot of fun to play, even if there were some rage inducing moments to be had. It is a game that, while we believe gamers who want a more calm, laid back experience can enjoy, it is best experience with as many friends as you can convince to play it. Working together does feel very rewarding, there are many jobs that need doing, and splitting the work can really make the game feel like a team effort. And when things go wrong, you'll always have someone else to blame for spilling severed legs on your nice clean floor. With all that said, we give this game a firm co-opt-in. While we do believe the game is replayable, we don't think it will be something you'll sit down and play for more than a couple of hours at a time. There are a slew of maps and scenarios to play through, though the base goal is usually the same. The icing on the cake with this game is idly chatting about what could possibly have happened to the place you're cleaning up, which can lead to some creative ideas from you and your friends. Working together to complete tasks is enjoyable and generally opens up to some funny moments, even when you're trying really hard to just do your job. It's frustrating, but we like it. That's all for this review, guys. We hope you enjoyed our look at Viscera Cleanup Detail and found it informative. If you'd like to see how we came up with our opinions, take a look at the playthrough we've done. Don't forget to like or dislike this video, as it does help us to improve. We appreciate any comments you leave us, as well as those subscriptions, as they mean a lot. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you on the next Co-Opt In.